Educators often ask how they can find the good stuff on YouTube. Well, today I'd like to show you how to do that. We're going to search and then filter by playlist and filter by channel to help you find things that you can use with your students. Let's take a look. So let's look at a couple ways that you can search in YouTube to really find that great educational content you're looking for, but also uh, ways that can help you to find good stuff in the future. So um, in the search bar, let's just type in a search term that I would have used when I was teaching eighth grade U.S. history, the Civil War, and let's see what I get. Now, I'm actually not looking for Marvel's Civil War or Guns N' Roses. So just like with other search engines, you can use your Boolean logic. So I'm going to do minus GNR to get rid of the Guns N' Roses stuff. And I'm going to do minus Marvel. And I'm going to search again here. Now you can see it got rid of those things that I wasn't looking for. Uh, then what I really want to highlight over here is the filter button. If you click on filter, there's a number of things you can filter to, but two things that are really great for teachers to help teachers dive in and find the best content are the filters for channel and playlist. Let's first take a look at channel. So by filtering down to channel, I'm going to find channels or content producers that are devoted to Civil War stuff. So this first thing, Civil War Trust, I have no idea about this organization, this group. Uh, there's some other stuff going on here, different channels devoted to the Civil War. But if I take a look at this channel, I might find out that it's got all sorts of... I'm going to pause that for you. Uh, I might find that it has all sorts of different videos. I can see that these guys have posted even two weeks ago. They've got a little series here. Uh, looks like four-minute uh, episodes. Oh, look down here, animated maps. So it looks like these people are producing all sorts of content. So if I wanted to subscribe to them, maybe I, I, I do and I follow the content that they're going to keep producing. Now if I go back to that search, I had filtered for channel, but I could also filter for playlist. So playlist is a group of videos that are put together by someone. Now maybe there's other teachers out there that have already put together uh, sets of Civil War videos that I might, I might want to use in 8th grade history class. Uh, and so, uh, Civil War battle documentaries. Okay, well, I can see that there are 16 videos here, and if I click on uh, the title here, I get to the watch page for this video, and I can see uh, the list of the different uh, videos that they've got here. Now, I might think that this is absolutely an amazing collection, and if so, I just uh, found a bunch of stuff that I don't need to go searching for myself. So again, let's go back to that search, and you can see, using the filter, I can search for playlists, groups of videos that have been put together by somebody else, or channels, which could be a content producer that is devoted to a certain topic uh, uploading frequently that I might want to follow so that I can continue to get the, the good stuff. With those two search tips, I hope that you're able to really drill down and find great content for your students. If you liked the video, it would be great if you gave me a little thumbs up, like, and if you want more videos like this, go ahead and click subscribe. I've also published a book called 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom, and if you want to check out my website, you can get more information on that.